water bear mechas in space. I'm here for it. So I'm back with another water deck and this time we're playing Ursartic in the monster type festival. So the main gimmick with this deck is that it synchro summons differently than other synchro decks. In Ursarctic, the level of the synchro monster corresponds to the level difference required to synchro summon this card. So to synchro summon into Ursarctic Polari, you need a level difference of 1. So for example, you can synchro summon using a level 2 tuner and a level 1 monster. Ursarctic Septetrion needs a level difference of 7 to synchro summon. To summon this monster, you can use Polari and a level 8 tuner. Septetrion is basically the boss monster of this deck. It has a floodgate effect. While this card is on the field, it negates the effects of face-up monsters without a level that were special summoned from the extra deck. This means your opponent will not be able to use the effects of Link monsters or Eggsy monsters because those monsters don't have levels. This monster will also let you add any Ursarctic card from your deck to your hand if your opponent special summons a monster, which can only be used once per turn. So in the main deck, the Ursarctic archetype has level 7 and level 8 monsters, and they all have the same quick effect which allows you to tribute summon one other level 7 or higher monster, then special summon this card from your hand. So you will be able to special summon these cards on either player's turns. And after you special summon these cards, you won't be able to special summon any monsters for the rest of the turn if they do not have a level. And if they are special summoned, Ursartic monsters have more effects. The effects of the level 7 Ursartics share a common theme, and that they let you summon the next Ursartic monster in your hand for free. For example, if you special summon McBillis, you can use its effect to bring another Ursartic monster from your hand onto the field. McTannis lets you retrieve an Ursartic monster from your graveyard and add it to your hand, giving you an extra monster to use for tributes. McPolar works similarly, but fetches an Ursartic monster from your deck and adds it to your hand, once again giving you another monster to be used for a tribute summon. The level 8 Ursartic monsters are all tuners, and when these cards are special summoned, they can disrupt your opponent. So these cards are basically your hand traps. If special summoned, Mega Ballist can target one card in the opponent's graveyard and banish it. Mega Tennis can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and change it to face-down position. Mega Polar can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls and destroys it. So the Ursarctic R-Type loves using big monsters that are level 7 or higher. They are often used as hand traps or board breakers, and what's neat is that you can also use them as tributes from your hand to special summon Ursartic monsters. You can use your board breakers as combo pieces, unlike other decks where your board breakers clog up your opening hand. So this means you might prefer using these types of cards over something like Imperm, because these cards increase your consistency. If you want more options for dealing with different opponents, there's a list of side deck choices you can check out in the description. It's all about picking the right tools based on what's popular in the current meta. So next up we have our engines. These pair of cards act as a one card combo, enabling you to summon two monsters to the field with a level difference of just one. With these monsters in play, you'll be able to perform a synchro summon and bring out Polari to start your combos. You only need one of these engines in the deck, in the monster type festival, Sting the Poison is the way to go. So to start our combo, we're going to Kaiju the opponent, then we're going to Normal Summon Sting the Poison. We'll activate its effect to add Pin the Bullseye to the hand, and then we'll Special Summon Bullseye. We can then Synchro Summon into our Sartic Polari. Polari can activate the field spell from the deck. Then we can activate Polari's effect to tribute one level 7 or higher monster. To add to the hand or Special Summon, one Ursartic from the graveyard. The opponent tries to banish the tuner we're trying to Special Summon. So we're going to chain the slider Quick Play spell to Special Summon the tuner from the graveyard. And then Polari resolves, allowing us to add an Ursartic from the graveyard to our hand. And now that we have a tuner and a monster with a level difference of 7, we can Synchro Summon into Ursartic Grand Chariot. When this monster is special summoned, you can target two cards on the field and destroy them. So we're just going to go into the battle phase here, and the opponent responds, special summoning an insect to target and destroy the field spell, we will chain an effect of Grand Chariot. If your opponent targets an Ursarctic card you control, you can tribute one monster from your hand or field to negate the activation. But instead of tributing a monster, we can use the Big Dipper field spell to banish an Ursarctic monster from the graveyard instead. And we can only use this effect once per turn. And then we're just going to set our trap card and pass the turn. So at any point during your opponent's turn, you can flip over the trap card and use its first effect to add any Ursartic from the graveyard to your hand. So I did do a bit of a misplay here. I sent Polari back into the extra deck instead of adding a more useful Ursartic to my hand, but that's fine. 
The trap card has a second effect. You can use it to tribute two monsters, and depending on the level difference of those monsters, you can use it to tribute two Ursartic monsters, and depending on the level difference, you'll be able to special summon one Ursartic monster from your extra deck. You can use this effect to special summon Grand Chariot on your opponent's turn to destroy two cards on the field. When your Ursartic Synchro monster is destroyed by an opponent's attack, you can activate the final effect of the Ursartic Trap card, which lets you shuffle the opponent's cards into the deck, so the total amount of cards in their hand, field, and graveyard is 7. The opponent has more than 7 cards in the graveyard, so they're going to have to shuffle everything they have back into the deck. So now it's time to talk about the field spell. Every time a monster is special summoned on either side of the field, you'll be able to add a counter to the field spell. If you happen to have an Ursartic Synchro Monster on the field, and your field spell counters reaches 7 or more, you can steal an opponent's monster. The opponent has a monster that cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, so we're just going to take control of it. So now we're just going to start special summoning more Ursartic Monsters, building up our field spell counters, so we can scoop up another monster with our Big Dipper on the opponent's turn, and it looks like the opponent just couldn't bear it. So in this next match here, we're going to activate Departure, discarding one card to add two Ursartic Monsters to our hand, then we're going to banish a level 7 to draw 2 cards. We're going to normal summon Poison Sting. Searching the level 1 monster, special summoning it, to then synchro summon into Polari. Polari activates the field spell. We'll activate Make Polar to add another Ursartic monster to our hand. We use Polari in the field spell to banish one Ursartic monster from the graveyard to special summon the level 8 tuner. We're going to do something a bit different here. We're going to get another Polari on the field. Then we're going to summon another level 8 tuner and then Synchro Summon into our Septetrion. This is to make our board a bit more resistant to Lightning Storm, which is a very common board breaker in this event. So there goes our field spell, so we won't be able to steal a monster with it. The opponent's going to special summon a monster, so we're going to activate the Max C. And because they special summon, we'll activate Septetrion to add an Ursartic monster to our hand. We'll add Mega Tennis. This gives us an interruption during our opponent's turn. So the opponent's going to summon an Eggsy monster, but we do have a Septetrion on the field, so they're not going to be able to activate the Eggsy monster's effects. So with that, the opponent's going to spin their final web, and we're off to the next match. So this time we're going to talk about a very important card in this deck, and that is Ursartic Radiation. So on our turn, we're going to go ahead and activate the continuous spell, Ursartic Radiation. When we activate Radiation, we can place 7 counters on it. Every time we special summon an Ursartic monster from the hand or extra deck, we can draw a card. We use the field spell to tribute one monster in the graveyard and special summon an Ursartic monster, and then draw a card. The Departure spell in the graveyard can also be used as a tribute to activate an Ursartic monster's effect. It was summoned from the graveyard, so we won't be able to draw a card, but we use Mega Polar to destroy one back row. So here we'll summon an extra deck Ursartic monster, draw a card with Radiation, and destroy two cards on the field with Grand Chariot. Ursartic Radiation really is the best card in this deck. It allows you to draw seven cards. And fortunately, there is a very consistent way of searching for this card, and that is using Ursatron Alpha. If you're playing Master Duel currently at this time, then this card isn't out yet, but it should be out very soon. Ursatron Alpha can special summon itself if you have an Ursartic monster on your field, and then you can add any Ursartic spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. We'll also have plenty of ways to search for Ursatron Alpha using Departure and Mick Polar. And with the release of Ursatron Alpha, we'll also get a new Synchro monster, Ursartic Polar Star. Using this level 1 Synchro, you'll be able to tribute one level 8 Ursartic monster from your hand or field to special summon one level 7 Ursartic Synchro monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you do, it will gain the effect your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters special summoned from the extra deck that have a level. And if you combine this with the effect of Septetrion, so if you use Polar Star to summon Septetrion, then you'll essentially have a one-sided skill drain. Your opponent will not be able to activate the effects of monsters special summoned from the extra deck at all. So with these new cards, the deck will have the consistency and the power to take on some meta decks. Though there are still issues with the deck in that it's mostly a 2 to 3 card combo deck. So hopefully we'll get more support to make this deck even more consistent. I hope this guide helped you out. If you have any questions or helpful tips for the deck, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.